adding a player. Adding a player is very simple at this level. I can go over to prefabs and add a first person controller. And there is my new player. Now, let's put him up over here on this little mountain. I can do that by quickly going into Y, grabbing him as an asset, and sticking him in that view, and go to the side view and mount him up. Also, by hitting F allows me to zoom in on him so I can kind of place him very naturally right here at the top. Just by adding a player, just like that, you can hit play and away you go. You're in Unity and that's how it works. So you can see that there's not much um, need for too much uh, knowledge and know-how behind scripting. That's for sure. Some things you should know though, uh, if you made your world really big, here's speed. So I can set speed to 20 if I wanted to. That allows me to run really fast to the edge of the world and kind of see what I'm looking at. So I'm on top of this huge plateau and if I look down, wow, is that a huge drop off or what? So will I survive? Of course I will because I haven't scripted anything as far as uh, damaging controllers or anything like that. But there's those trees way off in the distance. Why do lights suck? Well, for instance, if I have the scene, I have to now go in here and add a new component. Here is a directional light. Directional lights will be very handy at this point because it's continuous light that goes on and on forever. Okay, so I'm going to add a light just like that to the scene and hit play. There we go. And here's that land bridge that I put in. So the land bridge actually is very relevant and works out quite well. You fall off, you'll be falling for quite some time. There we go. All right, so that's how you add a new player. Very quick and easy. And on to the next tutorial.